Hi, I'm Shay Rhodes. I'm 28 years old and I'm a black male. I've never been stopped and searched in my life. Everyone tells me I should be getting lots of hassle from the police. I'm going to sort this situation out by giving myself five days to get stopped and searched. This is Stop and Search Me. Black Londoners are eight times more likely to get frisked than white ones. When the police themselves did a survey on their stop and search policy, 55% of black people said it was racist. So I should be finding this really easy. But I wasn't. I tried to find out what I needed to do. Maybe you're not, you don't fit into the box of the stereotypical views of young black kids. The main thing I would say is your parents, innit? Obviously you don't look like the type that will carry a gun or a knife or a, a bit of weed or a bit of drugs, you get what I'm saying? Like, really? Well, they weren't very helpful. I tried hanging around in all the places I'd seen black people getting searched before. My cameraman Frank followed at a safe distance, but nothing happened. I was starting to wonder if this sort of thing actually goes on. The next day, me and Frank went out in the evening, because we'd heard the police only harass people at night. We were right. The police were everywhere, on foot, in cars, in vans, on bikes. Really, bikes. It was all a bit scary. I needed to find some people with experience who could help me. These look like the chaps for the job. When, when was the last time, say, you got stopped and searched? I got stopped two <laughs> nights ago. <laughs> CID rolled on me, didn't ask me any questions, just threw me into the bushes, basically. They see me, and honestly, like, I've been told I have an identity crisis by the police because <laughs> I'm rolling with black people, wow. innit? I've got hay fever, so I carry a lot of tissue with me. They're dashing the tissue on the floor. I'm saying, like, what are you doing? I've got, like, hay fever. I need that. They're saying, well, when we finish, you can pick it up like I'm some animal. I had, yeah, I had two squirtings of weed. Well, that time was in plus? Yeah, I bulls one, luckily. They never got that. And they got the other one, which was in my pocket. <laughs> so basically, I've decided it's time to do something about that. And I'll give myself five days to try and get stopped and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <Bulls cast. laughs> Wait, you need to lower them trousers. No, they're low enough, man. Yeah, a low bit enough. lower, a bit lower. For a hood of, yeah, maybe a, a hoodie. little bandana around your face. Trust. Yeah, you should get stuck. Back. Yeah, that's where, all you need, a belly. Where's, where's the hot spots? Where, where You're right, the here, spot? right, right here, right here. Just, Just have look a, for the sack like roller zoot on the road. Just stand here with some weed. Today was quite a good day. Uh, yeah, met some really nice boys. They took me out, showed me around, um, showed me what to wear, where to hang out, that kind of thing. It's a bit surprised they still get stops and search all the time, though. Um, bearing in mind they know exactly what they're doing wrong. A bit disappointed because after two hours of hanging around with them I've got nothing. We didn't need to see any police but still I'm going to do what they told me tomorrow and uh, hopefully get something searched. The next day I got hooded up and went out for the night. I wandered the streets with my trousers falling half off my ass. I loitered in unlikely places and generally tried to get noticed. But it was useless on my own. I tried tagging along with a few groups of boys, but that didn't help much either. Then I saw this, real life stop and search, right in front of my very eyes. If only I'd walked down the road a few minutes earlier, it could have been me. It's, uh, it's about eight o'clock at night on a Friday night. And already, as you can see, the bully van's going and we've got some angry residents. Should we try and speak to them? It was all a bit too realistic for my cameraman, Frank. He chose this moment to walk out on me. Frank, what's going on, man? Don't fucking film it, man, turn it off. Turn it off. What's going on? You can't just leave me. I'm going, man. I don't want to get arrested. This is too much, man. Frank. On day four, I had no cameraman. But luckily, a friend of a friend's friend put me in touch with some boys from an apparently notorious estate near somewhere called Murder Mile. My tip-off was bang on. There were police everywhere, and the boys were starting to feel a bit intimidated. Tell me now. Yeah, tell the camera why like, you're standing here. Because you're bored, you said, yeah? Yeah, because I'm bored. All right, then. Uh, all right, all right. So we've oh, done, we've done nothing to you. And Take you the number, the badge, try. everything. Well, 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 yeah. well, you're just trying to cramp our space. You're actually well, coming. We're standing. Right, right, standing. Over there. You're gonna walk, walk over there. there. Come walk. Are you gonna stand like that? She's trying to make her point. She's trying to make her point. She's still standing. I tried to get the police to pay attention to me, but they weren't really interested. My new friends got lots of attention though. Is there any particular reason you're filming us? Just as I thought we were about to get handcuffed, the police started talking to us. Stop and search is, is it purely goes on if we've got grounds to stop and search people. You know, and I mean, an instance, if I walk out some and I smell a strong smell of cannabis, you're going to get searched because I believe you're in possession of that. You know, cannabis being an offence, although it being car seats and an offence. 
You know what it is? It's like if there's one person getting stopped or something, there will be about five officers on one person. That's what mainly gets people pissed off, you know what I'm saying? The majority. And then like, why is that? For your safety? Um, if it can be justified, then obviously yes, it's, not, it's not a problem there. Um, five on one, I mean, if a guy's a big, you know, big fellow and he's packing, packing something, yeah, there's going to be five. There's going to be ten. I've never been stopped to search in my life. Yeah. Why is that? You know, it's body language. Can you know a lot of body language? I mean, I can walk around this estate today with you, yeah. and I can see lads coming up on bikes, and as soon as they see me, they'll do a U-turn and bugger off. Right. And I just, I've, I've actually been stopped and searched by the police. A football match. There was what's called a section 16, and I got searched by officers, and I welcomed it because I know it would help to reduce disorder in the community, and I had nothing to hide. Anyway, the policeman was very nice, but he refused to stop and search me, so I left. The boys suggested we leave Hackney, so the next day I convinced Frank to come back to work for one last night. We decided to hire the most expensive car we could get hold of. I reckon we'll definitely get stopped and searched in this, but frankly there's one problem. I can't drive, mate, so uh, there you go. Nice one, let's go. Frank and I drove around for a while. It was pretty boring, so we went back to Clapton to get the boys. <laughs> Things certainly livened up after that. The boys were well up for getting stopped by the police. We're out to get shift. We're out to get nicked. Nicked. Where are you coppers? We drove around music pumping for hours. We tried overtaking police cars, but nothing happened. In fact, they were more friendly than anything else. Every now and then, we'd pull over to the side of the road and dance around the car for a while. The police just drove past us. You got nothing better to do? The boys resorted to taunting the police. Hello, hello, hello. And eventually they took the bait. You right, mate? This was it, my big moment. Five black guys and a merc, surely he's going to search us. Sorry, mate. I said, that's it, Dan. You got your seatbelt on? Huh? Do you want to put your seatbelt on? Yeah, I will do. Good man. No problem. You got your seatbelt on as well? I certainly have, sir. Right there. All pushed in there. Keep your right, girl. I don't mind. And that was it. I hadn't managed to get stopped and searched, so the next day I went to find my new friends to see if they could explain what had gone wrong. I reckon you never got stopped because we was looking out for them, innit? When you're going out for them, you won't get stopped, innit? You try and act like you're not doing nothing wrong, Dreddy, if you know what I mean. You try and act normal. That's when they're thinking, hello, hello. Yeah, it's not just about being black either because I get stopped the same amount of time as other people get stopped, you get me? You have to be doing your own thing and then that's when they're coming to you, basically, or if you're doing a crime, innit?